Hey guys, this is Coach Mahalski at Cousins Martial Arts. I'm the head instructor here in Saginaw. This is our virtual lesson number 16 for our children's martial arts, okay? Ages 8 to 12. All right, so feet together set. Martial arts begins and ends with respect. So we need to bow. Very good. Now, repeat after me as we do our student creed. Everybody say, I will develop myself in a positive manner and avoid anything that would reduce my mental growth or my physical health. I will develop self-discipline in order to bring out the best in myself and others. I will use common sense before self-defense and never be abusive or offensive. This is a black belt school. We are dedicated. We are motivated. We are on a quest to be our best. Winners never quit. Quitters never win. I choose to win. All right, guys. So let's get started with some warm ups, okay? So I got a couple different types of warm ups for you today. Our very first one is called Lumberjacks, okay? So we're gonna get into our horse stance right here. Why don't you take both your hands, clasp them together, you can, you can cross your fingers, okay? Now I want you to think of yourself like a big lumberjack, big strong lumberjack, okay? You got an ax in your hand. So you're gonna go over your shoulder and we're gonna come down. We're gonna do a squat. When we come down with that ax and then we're gonna bring it up over our other shoulder, come down back to the first shoulder, okay? All right, we're gonna do 10 of these, okay? But we're gonna do 10 on each shoulder, all right? Ready? Down, down, one. Down, down, two, down, down, three, down, down, four, down, down, five, down, down, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Nice work, okay? The other one we're gonna do today, we're gonna do something called the plank jack, but we're only gonna do a half plank jack. Plank jack. Full plank jacks are rather difficult, okay? So we're gonna get started off a little easier with a half plank jack, okay? So we have to get into our plank position. That means you're gonna take both of your hands right down here, right in front of you. Legs are gonna be out straight behind you. You see how my back makes a nice straight line? We don't wanna be up like this. We don't wanna be down like this. We gotta be nice and straight with our back, okay? Now, I'm gonna face you because what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring our legs apart and bring them back together. But we have to keep our back straight the entire time, okay? So we're gonna do 10 plank jacks. They go quick, but you're gonna feel this. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Nice job, nice job. Okay, so we're gonna move on to our first combo for today. All right, it starts off with a rear deflect. So get back into your guard stance right from here. We're gonna do that rear deflect. Now, just as a little review for what a deflect is, we bring our fingers to face towards us, our elbows straight down underneath of our hand, and this is gonna sweep right across in front of us. This protects us if somebody tries to punch us in the belly. If they try and throw an uppercut at us, this deflects it out of the way. And the same thing if they try and throw that front kick. This will also knock it out of the way so it doesn't hit us, okay? So right from our guard stance, right from here, we're gonna do a rear deflect, come back with a hook, a cross, hook, and a rear kick to finish the whole thing off. Now, make sure you give me a nice loud kia with that rear kick, okay? Right from here, let's try it out, ready? Deflect, hook, cross, hook, rear kick. Ready? Deflect, hook, cross, hook, rear kick. A little faster. Deflect, hook, cross, hook, rear kick. All right, last one. Best one. Deflect, hook, cross, hook, rear kick. Nice work today, nice work. Okay, so we're gonna do our first fun drill. We're gonna do some switch kicks, okay? so. Most of you are probably familiar with what switch kicks are. 
we know how to switch our feet, right? We get into our guard stance, we can switch our feet real quick, right? Okay, a little bit of coordination, a little bit of balance when we switch our feet. But I'm gonna call out a number. I want you to do that many switches, and then you're gonna follow it up with a rear kick, okay? Now, remember, if we have a different number and we end up with this leg back, we have to do a rear kick with that leg, all right? We have to be able to kick with both of our legs just as well as the other. So it's very important that we don't try and cheat ourselves in some way by switching back. We have to use whatever leg is back. All right, ready, set, four. One, two, three, four, boom. Ready, six, two, three, four, six, boom. Seven, one, two, four, five, six, seven, mm. three. Ready? 12. 2, 3, 4, 5, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Hmm. 2, 1, 2, Ooh. 3, 4, 5, 6, Ooh. 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Ooh. Last one. 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Ooh. Nice job, nice job. Okay, so let's lock it up. Have a seat. Now today's mat chat is about truth and procrastination. Okay, so let's see. So let's say two kids come home from school. Okay, first thing they do when they walk in the door is mom walks up to them and says, "All right, guys, make sure you take care of your homework first thing." Okay, and both the kids agree to it. All right, not a big deal, right? Well. One of them goes to their room and immediately starts working on their homework. The other one, he's like, you know, my favorite TV show is on right now. I'm gonna go watch that. And then after that's done, I'm gonna go and take care of my homework. So first kid's working on his homework. Second kid, he watches TV. And you know what? There's another great show after that. So he stays and watches TV. He's having a good time watching his favorite shows. Okay, first kid's done with his homework, okay? So playing with some of his toys, okay? You know what? That show was great. There's another, they, have, they have another show that's coming out right after that. That's awesome, isn't it? Yeah, so he stays and he watches TV. He hasn't done his homework yet, but he's got some great shows on TV, right? Okay, now, next thing you know, it's dinner time. Okay, so the kids go and they're eating dinner. All right, they're sitting there, they're eating their dinner. Now. The one kid's already got his homework done, the other one hasn't started yet. And he can't do it while he's, you know, sitting there eating at the table, okay? Now, they get done with dinner and the neighbor kids come over and they want to go outside and play. Well, first kid's already got it done, so he can go out and play no problem. Second kid, well, hey, I can do that homework later, okay? So he goes out and plays too, all right? Next thing you know, it's dark. They come in. Uh-oh, it's time for bed. First kid's already got his homework done. But the second kid hasn't started yet. Hmm. Well, this is a lesson in making sure that we tell the truth and we don't procrastinate with our responsibilities. Now, I'm not sure if you guys have heard of procrastination before. Procrastination is where we know that we have time, so we'll just put it off and take care of it later. Okay. Problem is, if we continue to procrastinate over and over and over again, what we originally know we have to take care of never gets done. All right, that second kid, he's gonna wake up and he's gonna realize I still haven't done my homework that's due today and I gotta go to school. So he won't end up getting his homework done and he told his mom he would. He didn't tell the truth, did he? Okay, because his procrastination got in the way. All right, there were other things that he deemed more important than necessarily taking care of the responsibilities that he had, all right? We all have responsibilities that we have to take care of. It's very important that we manage what little time we do have to take care of those responsibilities. Because when somebody trusts us to take care of something, it's very important that it does get taken care of. Because if it doesn't, that person's not gonna be nearly as likely to trust us in the future. And if we need assistance from them, and they can't trust us, do you think they're gonna help us out? Probably not. So 
it's very important that we minimize however much we procrastinate on things and that we work hard on telling the truth, taking care of our responsibilities and making sure it's done right, okay? Because trust is a very fragile thing, all right? When you break somebody's trust, it's very slow to regain it, all right? So it's very important that we take care of those things. Show that good responsibility, all right? That sound good, guys? All right, so let's get back to some fun. We're gonna do another fun drill. We're gonna do some math kicks, okay? Now, coach went to school, he went to college to, to learn math, all right? Yeah, yep, I spent some time working on things like calculus. You kids don't wanna have to worry about calculus if you don't have to, okay? All right, but we're not gonna be doing calculus problems. We're just gonna do some basic arithmetic, all right? How, how whatever the uh, solution is to the simple math problem that I give you, I want you to do that many kicks, okay? So, for instance, if I say two plus two, that's pretty easy. We know that's four. So I'm gonna do four rear kicks, okay? That was three. All right, so I'm gonna give you a couple different math problems and I'll pause in between each one. I want you to see how fast you can come up with a solution and throw the right number of kicks, okay? So, very first one we're gonna do, four plus one. Okay, if you did five kicks, great job, all right? Now, next one we have, six minus three. Good work. If you did three of those, you're in good shape, all right? Now, we're gonna move on to some multiplication, okay? Ready? Two times three. If you did six kicks, great job, all right? Next one, eight divided by one. Yeah, coach tried to pull a tricky one on you. Solution's eight. Okay. All right. Now, I'm going to give you one last math problem. This one's going to be a little bit longer, okay? All right, but you can do it. Ready? Five times two minus seven. Okay. Answer to that one is three. Okay. Good job today, guys. All right, so let's move on to our last combo for today. So let's get back in our guard stance. Right from here, we're gonna do jab, followed up with a rear uppercut, a hook, and then finish it off with a nice rear kick, okay? Right from here, ready? Jab, uppercut, hook, rear kick. Okay, let's go a little faster, ready? Jab, uppercut, hook, Rear kick. Getting faster, ready? Jab, uppercut, hook, rear kick. All right, last one, best one. Make it nice and smooth, ready? Jab, uppercut, hook, rear kick. Nice work, nice work, okay? All right, let's tell you what. How about we lock it back up? I wanna make sure that I talk to every one of you about our black belt success cycle, okay? All right? On each one of our tests for our children's martial arts, we have to know our black belt success cycle. So I'm gonna go over it with you really quick. All right, so first step, know what you want. Next step, have a plan. Now put your finger back up and a success coach. Hold your hand out, take consistent action. I'm gonna draw a big circle, say, review your progress. And then we're gonna draw that circle back and say, renew your goals, okay? So, one more time, know what you want, have a plan, and a success coach. Take consistent action. Review your progress and renew your goals, okay? So that's our black belt success cycle, guys. All right, so, had a great workout today. Let's finish up with some nice stretches, okay? So right from here, I want you to take, put both legs out in front of you. We're gonna bring one knee up, okay? I'm gonna reach across and I'm gonna twist my hips. I'm gonna turn myself around. See how far around I can go. We're gonna do this to the count of 10. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, and 10. Okay, I'm gonna switch up your view here just a little bit. We're gonna put this up here. We're gonna reach across, turning ourselves around. All right, to the count of 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. All right, now we're gonna move into a hurdler stretch, okay? So for a hurdler stretch, we put our feet back out in front of us. We're gonna take one leg, put it behind us, and I want you to reach down, try and touch that foot. Put that hand right on your toes. Okay, this is a little bit different, right? Count to 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Now let's switch. Gotta get both legs, okay? Reach down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. All right, so right from here, we're gonna put our arm across. I want you to grab onto that elbow, pull that elbow right in towards your body. There you go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Switch arms, other arm across. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. All right, our last one we're gonna do is a little bit different. We're gonna lay down for this one, okay? You're gonna put your arms out right on the floor and I want you to keep them on the floor, okay? We're gonna bring one knee up and I want you to turn your body, try and get that knee all the way to the floor if you can, okay? It's really tough, don't worry if you can't get it there. You should feel a stretch right here, okay? Keep both hands on the floor. If you can, try and keep both shoulders on the floor. Ready, one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And we gotta get both legs, so other leg. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Nice job today, children's martial arts. I hope you guys had some fun today, all right? Okay, so make sure you're pra still practicing at home. Okay, when we get back, we're gonna have testing. So we're gonna have a couple weeks of test prep. 